What's up guys and gals and welcome back and today we play Prophecy, a game that was recommended by both you and by Steam that same day. It must be prophetic. See what I did there? Nevertheless, I don't know much about this other than apparently it deals with the cryptid. So let's jump in and find out. The name's Mad Max and I hope you enjoy the show. Gloom Dreary Games. I freaking love that name. Based on true events inspired by the legend of the Mothman. December 10th, 1967. I got a letter that said, Come home, Caleb. Under the starlit sky, the cowboy sings. The name on the envelope said, Joseph Dupstring. My dad's name. The strange thing was, my dad died a few weeks ago. I had avoided going back to our farmhouse after his death, but that letter shook me to my core. It was time to finally go back home. December 15th, 1967. I found myself driving to my childhood home in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, after swearing I'd never go back. Got a flashlight. Wazd, December 13th. Dear Caleb, I hope you're doing well. As you requested, I've obtained your father's autopsy report and took it to the farmhouse. None of the farmhands were there at the time, so I slid it under the front door. After the autopsy, your father's body was transported to Grayville Funeral Home where he had a plot purchased. I spoke with their staff and they said, once you get into town, you can call them and schedule a time to make arrangements for the funeral. I left their business card for you too. I am sorry for your loss. Joe was a friend of mine. He was a good man and loved you very much. Let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Robert T. Wilson, Point Pleasant, West Virginia, Warner. All right, there's our letter. Dude, look at this truck. I freaking want one. It was late when I arrived and the farmhands would surely be gone for the day. Oh, guys, look how pretty this is. It reminds me of where I live, sort of. I mean, we have mountains. I think I've told you all this. I kind of live in a really small mountain town in Southern Colorado, and I mean, the stars are beautiful at night. Don't have any houses that look like this, though. My stomach turned in knots. I hadn't set foot in that place in six years, not since the falling out I had with my dad. That sucks, man. You don't want to do that with family, because you never really know. The front door was locked. I knew Dad kept a spare key in the shed somewhere. <laughs> Why would they ring the doorbell? Shed, 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 shed. The shed over here. Is there a gate? Oh, I bet we gotta go this way. What is that? Sunny's farming supply. Chicken feed, 10 pound bag. Five crates of 10 pound bags, $76. I freaking wish. Poultry supplement, ropes, chicken wire. Wonder if we're gonna need that later. See if we can't get to the shed this way. Oh, I, got, I forgot I had a flashlight. Not very good. We are in the 60s, though. We are on the press because of cosmic. What? What's that? Icarus hydraulic aerosol sprayer. 25% DDT. Yeah, you don't want to mess with that crap. I don't know what's happening right now. There's a radio playing. Talking about weird stuff. We are on the precipice of cosmic consciousness. General experts believe that certain frequencies are a doorway to realms beyond our comprehension. Whether it's extraterrestrial signals, interdimensional whispers, or even the okay. spirits of the ancients, we're picking up on something truly extraordinary through our Why would there be boards cried up?
and it's kind of pure luck that I found that. Again, why would that be locked in there? What does that say? Who are they? I don't know yet, but I think they're closing in on me. Should I be more careful? Maybe I can throw them off, make it harder for them to figure out what I'm doing. I'll start by boarding up the shed. Okay, well that, I guess makes Who sense. Who was Dad talking about? He was paranoid about something. Oh, there's the key. The thought of walking into our house and seeing my dad sitting on the couch, watching his favorite television program, kept creeping into my mind. That thought was crushed by the reality that he was gone. Yeah, again, that would suck. I was using the wrong one. Oh. There's lighting in the house. Dude, this looks really good. Like, really good. Door handle won't turn. It's jammed. The house was a mess. What the hell happened? Yeah, he looks like a hoarder. Or he knew something was wrong. Wouldn't be able to listen without a tape player. Like he was getting ready to move. Interview with astronomer, professor, and UFOologist Jeremy Alvin did it. One simply doesn't pass up the chance to interview a reclusive subject of interest. That's why, when my next assignment landed on my desk to interview the renowned Jeremy Alvin Hiddick, I jumped at the chance. I traveled to the gloomy countryside of Wales setting fit for our upcoming conversation about the paranormal and unexplained. We met at the Wales Grudge, a local tavern in his hometown. One of the first topics I wanted to discuss with Hiddick came with an antidote. A dear friend of mine phoned me a week prior and told me about a local story in the paper about recent sightings. And everything's redacted. 10% of the population can see beyond the narrow spectrum of visible light. These thought projections are said to be visible to certain individuals manipulate these radio wave like energies within the mind of the this theory is nothing new hundreds of years of tibetans have believed called culpus and argue that these may be psychological in nature and not so much paranormal however materialization of one's thoughts this would take great amount of we can't doubt the fact that ancient civilizations have yeah that really sucks all that's redacted hope that kind of made sense to you guys especially if you're not watching and you're like driving or something well, we know we gotta find a tape player. Oh, that door wasn't there before. Yeah, it looks like it's it's blocking the stairwell. Dude, he like boarded the house up. What the hell, Dad? Ooh, my dad was a painter, but I had never seen that one before. Why did it remind me of something? Then I remember the note he sent. Under the starlit sky, the cowboy sings. The hell did it all mean? It means there's probably something hidden under here. The painting was screwed into the wall, but it was loose. All right, I guess we gotta find a screwdriver now. Yeah, look. Huh. Oh, I don't wanna ring that. <laughs> I rang it anyway. Uh oh. What? Oh god. It kind of freaked me out. Oh my god. I knew my dad was a drinker, but he never abused it. Damn. He lost all control. Yeah, god. He went crazy, man. He was like researching UFOs and stuff. Oh, here we go. 10 6 1967. That's what, two months before it happened? I thought about calling Caleb, 
Killing him, I'm selling the last of the animals. He was attached to them and took pride in making sure they were taken care of. I've decided not to call, though. What the hell am I going to do with all those supplies I bought? I hate to admit it, but I'm avoiding Mitchell's calls. I don't have time to deal with that. I have interviews lined up with a few witnesses this week. Okay, that... It, well, that kind of made... the animals? Oh. Gone? I needed to find Fred, farmhand supervisor, and get some answers. Okay. Alright, so Dad, he drank a lot. He was interviewing... I guess cryptozoologists, isn't that what they're called? He sold all the animals? Blueberry pie. Oh god. I'm not gonna read that. Hope there's nothing on there that we need. Alright, put that down. I don't plan on making blueberry pie in this. Right, what are we looking for? A recorder and a screwdriver. Dude, this game, again, it looks so good. I mean, look at the detail in the boxes. I cannot... Ah! God! Who would call so late at night? Where's the... Oh, there it is. Answer it. Hello? Hello? power had gone out before I could find out who that was. I would have to find a way to turn the power back on. I honestly didn't expect the demo to have a story either. What was that? Oh. Keep hearing things. Doors jammed. There's a freaking bell. What's the bells for? What the hell would it do? We have a basement? Everything's locked up. Another letter? 808, 1967. Things aren't looking well. I've lost all the farm hands but one. Fred and his family are still here, but who knows for how much longer. They got a little boy and another one on the way. Soon I'll have to cut his pay too, and I really don't know what I'll do. Okay, so Dad was in financial trouble. Never said a word. We weren't on talking terms, but damn it. I wish he had just called me. That stubborn man. Yeah, I'm trying to piece together everything. He was in trouble. He was in financial trouble. He got into croup. Cryptozoology. That ain't gonna work. <coughs> oh, what happened? <gasps> oh god. Who's the creepy man in black? What the fuck? Was I imagining things? Who was that man? He didn't move. But I got the impression that he was pointing towards the backyard. Oh no. And look, there's more bells. What are those for? Okay. Alright. I needed to find the farmhand manager, Fred. He was the only farmhand that lived on the grounds. He had a cabin near the barn. Yeah. Oh. I could have sworn the door to the backyard was closed. <gasps> I didn't even notice. And that just shut? Oh god, guys, what did we get ourselves into? Who's this? The hell? There was once a two-headed oracle who sensed an impending curse on the land. The Sphinx called upon the Luck Dragon for guidance during the troubling times ahead. The dragon told the Sphinx to go see the three wise sages. The sages are wise, but delight in treacherous deceit. Seek their wisdom with caution, said the dragon. What will we gain in return, asked the sages in unison. The Sphinx Oracle said, As seers we are but servants to all kind, and our reward is to assure the prosperity of every being. The sages gave the Sphinx three gems and said, Use them wisely. Okay. What the hell kind of book was that? 
Yeah, the flashlight sucked. What's this? Oh. Another freaking bell. What is that? 513. All the things are dating. Look, this one's like five years before. It's been over a year since he's been gone, and I haven't talked to him once. When he got married a few months ago, his wife was the one to call me and break the news. She said Caleb doesn't want anything to do with me, but she thinks a father should know about his son's marriage. So that's why she called. Dude, that's, again, that's sad, guys. To have a fallen out with family. It really is. The smell in the oh. backyard brought back memories of my grandpa. We spent a lot of time in the garden together. I don't have to talk much. This game kind of narrates itself. Not <laughs> only was my dad a painter, but he was also a skilled craftsman. He built a gazebo with his bare hands. Yeah, I tried to build one of those. It doesn't look that nice. I mean, it looks okay. My wife was happy with it. Joe. Joe, the reset lever should be working for your request. Fred. Okay. What well, can I not get into it? Okay. What the hell is that? Keep moving, I guess. There's another note. Oh, dude, look at the little pond. It like glistens. God, this looks good. 320, 1965. Things sure have fallen apart in just a matter of a few years. The good memories in this garden are one of the things keeping me sane. My dad built this garden with his bare hands for my mom. It was his wedding gift to her when they moved in. I can picture Caleb playing out here when he was just a toddler, rolling around in the dirt, making mud pies, and playing hide and seek. Wait, what? Things sure have fallen apart in just a matter of a few years. The good memories in this garden are one of the things keeping me sane. My dad built this garden with his bare hands for my mom. It was his wedding gift to her when they moved in. I can picture Caleb playing out here when he was just a toddler. I, I don't understand. Maybe that'll make sense later. Dude, look at the water. Yeah, I don't get that one. That, that letter didn't make sense to me. Something right here too, look. Oh. Okay, what is up with the bells? And we gotta go find a key. The gate leading to the barn was chained and locked. Maybe there was one back in this closet. I just wasn't paying attention because I didn't know I had to look for a key. again with the bells look what are the bells for guys I have no idea where to look for a key didn't help me this time or a screwdriver We for sure couldn't open that up, right? What is this? One of mom's prize bases. She loved collecting anything made of porcelain. Okay. We couldn't open this up, right? Yeah, guys, I have no idea. Let's go back out to the, uh, the yard. Maybe I'm missing something. There's all these dang bells. Nothing opens up. I'm gonna hit this. Dude, 
fit all three bells. I don't know if that does anything or not. This thing's not doing anything. Joe, the reset lever should be working for your request. Is there like an order or something of the bells we're supposed to do? Maybe. Though I haven't seen anything. And if we hit the bells in the right order, then we can open up that thing. Go back in here. Everything's still shut up though. gotta be something to do with those bells you know like i don't know there's something behind that door it's a reset switch let's do this okay and then we'll do this one maybe Okay, that one, that rang once, that rang three times. That rang two. So then let's, let's try this. It won't pull down. Oh, that's it? Okay. So is this open now? All right, let's reset it and go back. Yes, yes. Oh my God, guys. I've been walking around that house for like 10 minutes. I'm stressed, like this game's got me all tense ever since that stupid guy showed up in the window. Okay, nothing happened. Nothing happened. But there's something to do with that. It won't pull down. Right? We did one, two, three. What about three, two, one? What well, sucks? Let's go three, two, one. Hammer. What you do with that hammer, Carl? Still nothing. And there's nothing to help me. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what I'm doing. I can't find a key to that lock. There's obviously something to do with those bells. Is there anything in this? No, there's not. Oh my god, guys. I'm so stressed out. Okay. So we've done one. We tried this one, this one this one that was what one three two and then we did one two three and then we did three two one uh oh let's just try this let's go two oh crap okay oh my, it's gotta be these bells guys we walked all over the freaking house two one, three. How the hell are you supposed to know that? Oh God. Oh God. Here we go though. Okay. Well, that, that took forever, but it's okay. Probably me. I'd never seen that pillar before. 
It looked like it was missing pieces. Oh, boy. Three phases of the moon. Square object. Okay. Oh my god, guys, I'm so stressed. Still can't go that way. Let's go back in here. Yeah, guys, we gotta find all this stuff. I don't know, guys, can we see? It just says square object. Like, we can't... I can't, like, observe it. Maybe this is open? I was like looking for a square peg. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe if you could pull that out and like flip it around, I would have saw that, that was a key. Maybe I don't know. I don't want to go up here. I didn't understand why my dad had let everything fall to ruin. It was Time to him. die. Maybe I could find answers upstairs. Yeah, maybe. I'd wish the. I wish the flashlight was a little... I mean, it's not like a super dark, but I wish it had like a beam on it. It would help highlight things. It's almost like I've got a lantern, not a flashlight. But I don't want to miss anything. I feel like this game is so detailed. Like you could just walk by something. Oh, look at the little doggo. Oh my God, what is that? November 1966, exact date unknown witness a woman her brother and her three-year-old daughter were driving near the TNT area they were visiting relatives in that area they got out of the car in front of their relatives house her brother went inside the woman carrying her daughter saw a creature in the woods near the house it paralyzed her and the two fell to the ground as soon as she regained the ability to move she scooped up her daughter ran inside and called the police and here's the sketch of it oh my god dude the mothman is such an awesome legend. Didn't they make a freaking movie about it? Like the Mothman Prophecy or something? I don't remember. But like there's all these stories of like like kids back in the 60s driving down the road, man. And this freaking thing attacking their cars. Ooh. Oh, dude. Oh, nothing's... It looks like nothing's like changed. Today's ah, top story weighs it. heavily on the residents of Point Pleasant. A local farmer, identified as Joseph Dewspring, was discovered dead in the McClintic Wildlife <gasps> Management Area yesterday afternoon. Could this incident be linked to the recent sightings of a winged, red-eyed creature? We spoke with a local reporter who interviewed an eyewitness who told their story. An eyewitness? Thank you for agreeing to speak with me again today. So when was the last time you saw it? It came back last night. It, it was standing in the woods near the barn. A tall, black figure. I couldn't make out any details except for the big red eyes. I was in a trance, completely paralyzed. And then I blacked out. Dude, that's right, man. It freaking... It does paralyze you. I think I'm getting cryptids wrong. Maybe... Maybe the one that attacked the car was like the Jersey Devil or something crap. I don't remember. You know, I said our room didn't change, but didn't we leave like as a, a teenager? Like you would think the room would look a little less kitty. I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm just spitballing. I'm freaking nervous. I know I'm about to see something that's going to scare the crap out of me. What's this? 419, 1967. The deeper I dig, the more I feel I'm being watched. Building my little contraptions helps keep things safe and throw them off. I never thought being a tinker would come in handy. Being a tinker always... Oh, God. I know something's about to happen. Like, my body knows something's about to happen. <gasps> Grandma and Grandpa's room was disheveled. Unrecognizable. What was Dad doing in here? This is where he tinkered? Oh, oh, dude. Red-eyed creature reported in West Virginia. 
Point Pleasant, West Virginia, two Point Pleasant couples spoke with police about their horrifying encounter on Wednesday at midnight. Their car was chased by a bird-like creature six to seven feet in height with red eyes and a 10-foot wingspan. Yes, I'm not getting them mixed up. I'm telling you, dude, there's freaking stories like this all over the place. They told Mason County Sheriff's deputies they were driving near the Mc McClintic Wildlife Reserve when they encountered the thing. Its glowing red eyes had a hypnotic-like effect that captivated it's all torn up, while at the same time imposed dread and sorrow into them, flying at, dang, 100 miles an hour, it flapped its wings. Men noted that it had it only been him about it. Oh my god, I wish it wasn't torn up. Dude, oh my, I love cryptids. I love cryptozoology. I want to go, <laughs> I want to go chupacabra hunting. What is this? Scale? North power plant. Ammonia oxide plants, sulfuric acid buildings, bunkers. Why would we have that? Timeline thus far, November 1st. A National Guardsman on duty saw a large creature perched high on a tree above a fence boarding the base. The very next day, a traveling salesman sees a flying saucer and encounters a strange man. Man spots UFO, encounters a strange man. The man asked him questions. Who are you? What time is it? Several days later, five witnesses were digging a grave in Clindeman, West Virginia. They allegedly saw a figure lift off into the trees above. Two days later, a, farm's, a farmer's dog was barking at a large creature with reflective red eyes. The next day, two young couples drove up to the TNC area and were chased by the Mothman. And 12 days later, a local woman encountered the Mothman. She got too close to it, and the creature's red eyes disoriented her. She became paralyzed and blacked out. She woke up with severe pain in her eyes. She was diagnosed with conjunctivitis. This is groundbreaking. The first case of trace evidence. Dude, this just got so awesome. Joseph, an elderly, an elderly man came to the Point Pleasant Times on November 3rd and asked for me. He said that last night something frightening happened to him and he wanted me to write a story about it in the paper. He said while watching television last night he saw a bright light in his front yard. He lives on a remote farm and couldn't imagine who it would be. He went outside and some strange man was standing next to a silver craft of some sort. The man spoke with him but never moved his mouth. <laughs> oh dude, there's so many stories about that too. I'm freaking loving this. The witness was genuinely scared. He got nervous and ended up changing his mind about reporting the story. He left abruptly, not before I gave him my card and told him to call me if he changes his mind. I'll keep you updated. Best, Mary. P.S. Could this be linked to the Mothman? Dude, this is so cool. I don't really want to plug a channel here, but I think I've mentioned it before, the Y-Files. It goes into this stuff. New F.O. <laughs> Flying saucers, fact or fiction. Plus, Mothman terrorizing a small town in West Virginia. <gasps> Note to self, renew Newfound Magazine subscription. Hell yeah, renew that crap. Bombs, malt, liquor. Yes! Ooh, ooh. We got it? Caleb, use this. Caleb. There's a chance I may be gone when you find this recording. I'm sorry for how things turned out, but there are weird things going on. Start by checking the bookshelf downstairs under the vase. There's a key to the side shed. Be careful. <gasps> okay, so we actually, we already looked at that, but we didn't see anything. Brought a tear to my eye, but my grieving was short-lived. Things were only getting stranger, and I had more questions than answers. Okay. Wasn't there another one? Yes. No. All right, so let's go downstairs. We know there's another one of those tapes. It also said, oh, what is that? That's nothing. It said, uh, can't go in there. We already looked at that shelf, but I guess we missed something. I don't like that you have to walk through my room. I mean, I guess it's cool because there is a hallway, but he kind of boarded it up. I had that as a kid, though, too. Like, our bedroom 
or where my bedroom was you had to walk through my room to get to the laundry room it kind of sucked <laughs> so my stepdad ended up uh knocking the wall out in the closet in the kitchen so he could walk through that was mighty mighty kind of him to do that okay so there's a tape somewhere right here right yes i finally found someone who believes me a journalist here in town named mary she wrote a story in the local paper about a group of witnesses who told their story to the Point Pleasant Police Department. News of the Mothman has gone global because of that story. I told her I wanted to help and she suggested I buy a tape player and record all my findings. We're going to get to the bottom of this, damn it. Oh my god. I'm so sad this is a demo. Like I want to keep playing it. Because I know it's going to end. I don't know how far we're actually going to make it. But I'm freaking pumped. Okay, so we all looked in the vase. Okay. <laughs> Last time we didn't do that. Now that's the, the side... He said the side shed. There was one... There was one out back this way. Right? Just, this game's got such an awesome vibe to it. What was that? And... Yes! Oh my god, guys. My freaking hair standing up again. Here we go. We got more. What is this? What the hell? Handle, rope, metal, reset lever on gazebo. <laughs> I wish we'd have saw this first. Disengage lot. Okay. It didn't really help me out though. A flying object was described as an oval shape and bright silver. A panel running along the length of the craft emitted a warm light. The man came out of a door in the middle. It's the freaking tic tac! I'm sorry to mean to yell. Oh, oh. Base. Oh, a basement key. What the hell? I thought that was going to be to the shed. Not to the shed. I thought that was going to be to the gate. I happened to come across a rerun of a television interview. A man named Warren said that on November 2nd, 1966, he was on an isolated road when a gigantic unidentified flying object landed in front of his car. The door on the object opened and a man wearing a black suit stepped out. Now, I don't know if this is just a coincidence or not, but the day Warren had this encounter was exactly one day after the sighting of the Mothman by the National Guardsman. Are these two incidents somehow linked? I need to bring this up to Mary. I'll gather as much information as I can and present it to her. Dang, man. I mean, again. Warren's encounter reminded me of the man I saw in the window. The thought of seeing him again sent a chill down my spine. I tried to shake it off. There was no way. I must have imagined that. Oh, dude, you saw it. Nice. Right, so we gotta find the basement. I'm guessing it's just gonna be one of the locked doors in the house. He may be right here. No, that's not it. I mean, obviously it's gonna be downstairs, so. What is this? I didn't even notice that. Can we hide in the box? Nope. Oh god! Oh my phone lord. The power had gone out. Oh. What the fuck was going on? I'd be out of this house, man. But at this point, I think I would leave. Hello? Does Joe live here? <gasps> It was that son of a bitch from the window. I am the searcher. I need to speak with him. Oh no. I needed to find a way to turn the power back on so I could call the police. Yes, 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 yes. It's in the basement. I know it. Oh my god. I know I'm going to look outside this window. There's going to be something staring at me though. This house is humongous. I want it. That's not it. 
That's not it. There we go. It's the last freaking door. I don't want to go down here. <gasps> Dad rarely let me come down here. I wonder why. He was always messing with the pipes and valves. Washer and dryer's down here, though. Oh, look, dude. It's the freaking furnace, like, from, uh... Home alone, Matt just started talking to you. Oh, there's a key. Moon key. Hey, Joe. The furnace door sticks. Turning a fire on loosens it up. The valves have something lately in order to turn you'll want in a specific order. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Valves in a specific order. There's the fuse. Interesting. I mean, should we try to guess the valves? We don't have a freaking... Ooh, there's something in there. Look. I mean, maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, there's four of them. Oh, there's freaking five valves. <laughs> there ain't no way we're gonna figure that out. Let's go out to the to the gazebo. Oh my god! <gasps> what the fuck was that? Oh, oh no! It's here. It's freaking here. Oh, it's so freaking creepy. I'm gonna have freaking nightmares about cryptids. I already scare myself when I go hunting. I just know freaking Bigfoot's gonna come out. Oh god, stop with the noise. Stop with the music, I hate it. I hate it. Where's that crowbar? Oh my god, I'm running. Here, here, just... Oh no. <laughs> the moon key didn't work. Maybe it works with this. Oh god. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, moon key, moon key. It's the, uh... Maybe it's the painting. Maybe it's the painting. Holy crap. Oh, God. To the devs, you did a fantastic job building suspense, because now it sucks. This sucks so bad. Oh, no, that's not it. anything here you know as a child I'd be nosy I'd be freaking down in the basement every time dad oh 9 3 1960 I can't wait to get out of this damn house I made the mistake of telling my dad that I thought I saw a figure out of the corner of my eye last night in the basement he went on about how that's called anomalous phenomena whatever the hell that means says I might have the same gift he has now he gave me a book called the book of the damned I'm gonna throw it away. In a few months, I'll be old enough to apply for that trucking job in Indianapolis. Then me and Gracie can get out of here. And I'm never turning back. Dude, that's kind of sad. <gasps> Look, there's something right there. I'm so mad at him. Yes. A crescent moon. That's how we open so that up. Mad he's gone. But that means I've got to be looking for those things. And also, so does that mean like, his dad could see the Mothman, and now we can, too. What's this? Oh, we already read that. What's that? <gasps> yes! Yes! Locked. There's a small... Yes, that was in the basement. Right? No! 
Oh, <gasps> yes. What is that? Oh. Waxing crescent moonstone added to the inventory. And that's the furnace. Oh, dude, we can barely read it. Okay, from out. Oh, here we go. It's a schematic. So from outside, we got to turn the gas on, right? So that's blocked. And I know y'all can't see my hand pointing at the screen. <laughs> I'll try to do arrows. Um, from outside, we're going to go far right. It's going to go far right, second to the left, or it's going to go up around there's it looks like there might be a couple different ways to do it oh god oh son of a bitch oh i hate it i don't like it i don't like it oh god bless it holy god in heaven stop it oh no nope. running we're running we're running we're running we're running i freaking hate it oh my god Oh no. I don't even want to look anywhere. I don't want to look nowhere. That thing can just stay on the roof. Of course, me running through the house probably doesn't help. Don't do it. Don't look outside. Just don't do it. Oh, it's going to be at the end of the hallway. I know it. It's going to run right at me. Oh. Nope, don't look. Okay. Now, if I looked at that schematic the right way, it honestly looked like... Oh. I mean, that right there went from outside into the furnace. Oh my god, I don't remember. Okay, let's, let's go back upstairs. Maybe this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Yes, yes, okay, from the outside, here, to here, to here, to here, to here. Okay, we're gonna try that. Going from the outside to the furnace. I seriously hate puzzles when I'm stressed out. I feel so stupid. Okay, so if it's going from the outside, it's gonna go here. <laughs> Here, 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 and then lastly, well that was quick, and there it is, that's the moon piece, now we can go open up the gazebo? Oh, please don't. Please don't. Ah! God! Ah! Run! Ah. <laughs> oh my god. Gloom Dreary Games. Oh my god, I cannot wait for this to be done. I don't know when it's supposed to release. I wasn't really paying attention to that, but holy crap, this was fantastic. It was fantastic. I want it more. So please, for the love of all things cryptid, finish this dang game. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. And also want to give a shout out to Country Strong and to Steam because both of y'all recommended it. Oh, I'm so happy we played this. Guys, gals, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your love and support. It means everything to me and this channel would not exist without you. But unfortunately, guys, it's time for me to leave you. Stay frosty, stay mad, and I'll see you all in the next one.